this is Isabel Gopal and I'm happy that you just touched this video. This is my first um, video for a very long time, but um, um, the Lord has been putting on my heart to do a um, get back on YouTube or get on YouTube in the first place. And um, it's such a profound time right now that I'm getting on because it's just an urgency in my heart to let people know like we need to be uncompromised about our faith, uncompromised about who we believe in and why we believe in it and what we stand for. And um, this is what this this um, YouTube um, station is going to be about. It's going to be um, Crowned Agape. Um, crowned Agape is about um, we are, if we believe in Jesus Christ, we are crowned in righteousness, the Lord says. And if we're crowned in righteousness, then we we walk in the love of God. And if we walk in the love of God, we need to walk understanding our power and our authority and what we believe in and who we believe in. And we're not walking alone when we go on this journey. And sometimes it may be dark, right? The Lord said we will walk through the um, darkness but fear no evil, right? And if we're walking in these dark paths, it's fine because the Lord's walking with us because at the end of that tunnel, it's going to be the light. And there's two verses that um, I wanted to, t to speak on. And I'm in the kitchen cooking. And yes, this was like one of these last minute things. But you know, when the Holy Spirit says, go, we go, right? It says, um, In 1 John 4, little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Wow. Like we need to understand that we believe in Jesus Christ. And we said, Lord Jesus, we trust in you and we repent for you, our sins, Lord. Come into me. Live inside of me. Right? The Lord is letting us know. It says little children. He, we are children again. We are children of Christ. We are children, sons and daughters of the Father. And if we're that, it says little children, you are from God and have overcome them. We've already overcome our sins. Why? Because it's Jesus has for us. He came, he died for us, and his blood was shed to over overcome the evil one, right? He, the devil's underneath our feet, honey. He says, you have overcome for he who is in you. All right, believers of Christ, the ones that live for Christ, that have faith in Jesus, even if it's of a mustard seed. He said, for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. So this is just a video to let my sisters and brothers of, of Christ know that it doesn't matter what you're going through right now. It doesn't matter what situation you're in right now. The Lord said he's in you and he's walking with you and there's nothing out there, right? Then he who is in the world, don't be scared of nothing out there. Walk in your truth, walk in your power, walk in your authority and know that Jesus is walking right with you, right? And then we go into, bear with me. Mark chapter 1, verse 15, it says, In saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel. Every day we have a choice to pick up our cross. The Lord said, pick up your cross daily. Every day we need to choose Jesus. Every day we need to pick up our cross. Because we don't know if Jesus is coming in the next minute, tonight, tomorrow, next week, in a couple of years. But guess what? He's letting you know he's coming. So we need to prepare ourselves, prepare our hearts. Our jobs here is to go out, right? We need to prepare ourselves and we need to prepare, prepare the ones that love, that we love. Our families, our friends, our co-workers, right? We need to ex show them that we found hope, we found love, right? I just want you to find love. And even if they reject you, right? You did your part by sowing the seed in their heart. You did your part by just expressing the truth. Because the Lord said his word is truth. It is light, right? I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth in my other phone, right? Repent. Believe in the gospel. Believe that Jesus, hallelujah, has done the ultimate for us. He has died and he rose again. And guess what? We rose again when we was baptized. Hallelujah. So I just put an urgency on the hearts of my sisters and my brothers and the ones that are not yet brothers and sisters of Christ, but soon shall be. Because if you, if you got to this message, if you got to this video, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to your heart. You know that something in you has been seeking something. You've been seeking something. Your heart has not been fulfilled. But guess what? The fulfillment is Jesus. And he's, he's waiting for you, man. He's waiting for you. Hallelujah. 
And then the next one says, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And, and take this in your heart and understand the beginning of life is Jesus. The beginning of your life, right? You thought you was living a life without him. You thought you was, you know, living, you know, in the world and YOLO, right? There was always something missing. There was always something empty. There was something always that wasn't fulfilled. I was the same way. And later on, I'll tell you my testimony. I was the same way, right? The Lord said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Hallelujah. And all the, all these things will be added to you. Understand that if we seek the Lord, we seek the Father first. He said, seek him first, right? But seek first. He said, you know, how, when to do it. Seek him first. When you wake up in the morning, seek him first. When you're about to make plans, business plans, daily plans, vacation plans, seek him first. When you're about to buy something, seek him first, right? Seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. So I'm telling you right now that I am not perfect. I'm still on this journey. But my urgency is to tell others that we need to seek the Lord. That there's, there's a savior out there that loves us, that died for us. And if I don't tell you, who will? And if someone did tell you, this is your reminder. That today we need to choose Jesus because he chose us. He crowned us in his righteousness. He shed his blood and he rose again to let you know, let the enemy know, that he ain't going nowhere. That he came just for a time as now. For all these people out here that are living and going for the antichrist and are just maybe lost. Because I can't just say these people are antichrist. Your eyes are closed until someone tells you the truth. And until no one someone tells you the truth, we will all be living a lie. So I just want to put my, I just want to pray um, for anyone that watches this video. Because this won't be the only one. This is just the beginning. And it's funny because this is my first one, but it's been a while since I was like, I'm going to do a YouTube video, but I don't know what. But I need my people that are already believers to know that they need to stop being, they need to be uncompromised on who they are in Christ and who they believe in and who stands with them. And the ones that don't know who Christ is yet, please continue to come to this channel. Continue to pray. Call on the name of Jesus and say, forgive me, Father. I know there's a father in heaven, but forgive me for I, I, I need repenting. I'm, I'm putting my, my sins and my troubles with all your heart. Leave it at his feet, right? And accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and receive him in your heart today. Receive him because he loves you and he has already received you. And from that, make this prayer and ask the Lord to change you, to fill you up with the Holy Spirit. He wants to fill you up with him so that you will know, know that you never again shall walk alone. Even when it's dark, his light shall overcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. So let me just do a quick prayer and no, I ain't no pro. No, I ain't no, no nothing. I'm just a child of God and I love him and I know he loves you. And that's why I'm delivering this message right now. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just thank you right now for your presence. The presence of the Holy Spirit that is in me, that is in your, your children, your daughters, your sons. Father God, let it rise up in them like a fire, Father. That they are no longer compromising their truth, their faith, their life, Father God, for the enemy. But they are now standing in the power and authority that lives within them. Lord Jesus, if we have anyone on this line, anyone that clicks this video that do not know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, before they end this video, even if they do, let them get into the quietness of their home, in the quietness of their car, in the quietness of their walks, Lord Jesus, and let them accept you as, your, as the personal Savior. Let them repent, Lord Jesus, for what they have done, Father God. You said on the cross, Lord Jesus, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Lord Jesus, they do not know what they are doing today, but Father God, when they receive you as the personal Savior, Father God, Holy Spirit, you will direct them to know the truth. And the truth shall set them free, Father. And we just praise your name and we glorify you.
because I'm a daughter that loves you. But Father God, there's someone, these more um, brothers and sisters out here that love you too. And there's a time as today that we do no longer, no longer walk in weakness and walk in, 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 in worry and fear because Father God, we never walk alone. Father, we trust in you. We love you. Fill these children up. Come into the hearts of the ones that are calling out for repentance in this time. And Father God, I ask you that, Father God, this is the beginning, not the end. Because, Father God, when we choose you, that is the beginning of life itself. And, Father God, I pray the rest of them choose you too. I just praise you, Lord Jesus, for today. Thank you for the, the breath into my lungs. Thank you for another day to give glory to your name. And, Father God, I just call on you for everything else, for each and every individual in here. If they can't say it, Father God, touch them in a mighty way. Lift them up, Lord Jesus, and let them know who you are in them. You said, sink the kingdom of God first. And keep, hold on, don't let me mess it up. Don't let me mess it up. You said, but seek the first. Seek first, seek first, seek first. Seek first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. Oh, Father God, we want to be more like you. We want to be more like you, Lord Jesus. And all these things will be added to you. Life will be added to you. Truth will be added to you. Love will be added to you. Peace will be added to you. Joy will be added to you. Self-control will be added to you. We're knocking off addictions at this time, Father God. We're knocking off fear at this time, Father God. We're knocking out um, lack of peace, lack of joy right now. Father God, if these people are not getting love from anywhere. Let them feel the presence of your love at this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I glorify you and I give you all the honor, all the praise. Thank you for working in me, through me, and for me, and with me, Lord Jesus, at this time. I just thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you and I love him, but he loves you more, and I give you this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God.